yourself for the most turbulent, power-packed motorsport in the world. Never before in any program could you witness such devastating propulsion, massive convulsive force as on Challenge of Power. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Challenge of Power. From Columbus, Ohio, at the Ohio State Fairgrounds, it's monster truck side-by-side -side racing. Hi, everybody, I'm Dave Grimm, and welcome to tonight's broadcast of what promises to be some excellent competition of some of the world's greatest monster trucks. We've got trucks in here like the Hercules truck, also the Nightmare Chevrolet, and they'll be going up against Bigfoot, the Ford out of Missouri. We've got 11 trucks in the competition all together. You can hear them firing up in the background, so let's go to the action right now. Well, here we go now, Steve has the Nightmare. Going up against Madman. It'll be Chevrolet against Dodge. This is our first heat in our first round of competition. Are you ready? Chevrolet fans, are you ready? Here we go. Steve Hess comes off the line. He's not wasting any time. He's on him and Madman is right in his tail. Here they go, side by side. Steve Hess is really getting bounced around. Madman's got problems. Here goes Steve Hess. Woo! Oh, man, does that take your breath away? Steve Hess and Nightmare win it. Steve Hess, a great run for him. Steve, whatever you did, it was right because a spectacular run for Nightmare 2. Well, we uh, had a lot of work to do today. We busted a couple hydraulic lines and we busted a tie rod. Uh, tie rods welded on there. We're just giving it our best shot. So to praying that it holds together. We sure are. All right, looked like you really got up awful high on that last jump over the cars. Was that by design? No, uh, I hit it just a little too hard and got into it a little late. All right, what will be your strategy going into the, the other rounds of elimination? Got to back out of it just a little bit and uh, just kind of run a, kind of pace the race tonight. Try to run a little smoother race? Yeah, a little bit smoother than what we did last night. All right, you beat Bigfoot's time here tonight. Do you think you got a shot to beat him? We're going to give it our best shot. Steve Hess always gives us his best shot. From Roanoke, Indiana, Steve Hess and Nightmare 2. Bigfoot driven by Gene Patterson now, lining up on the east lane. In the west lane, Hercules 2. And Gene Patterson, who is not off to his best start tonight, like he was in previous shows, says, I can't back down a bit. i got to put my foot in the accelerator, not waste any time. He would not want to lose to Hercules 2 here tonight. Here we go now, Hercules and Bigfoot side by side. Monster truck racing as they line it up, get ready to hit that accelerator. Ronnie Hughes has the flags up. He's ready to drop the flag. Here we go, they're on it. And here comes Bigfoot, here comes Hercules. Oh, Chevrolet and Ford, Chevrolet and Ford. Here they go, Hercules, Hercules. Go out. Please, everyone stay back. Stay back. As they pull themselves to the wreckage, we can see that Scott Hess, the driver of Hercules, and Bigfoot's Gene Patterson are both okay. We're thankful nobody was injured in that dramatic double crash. The strict enforcement of safety equipment rules and spectator boundaries kept anybody from being hurt. A broken television camera and a crushed camera stand were the only casualties. ESPN's cameraman Johnny Leinberger of Victory Films walked away with only scratches. We appreciate you coming over here to be interviewed on our ESPN cameras. Tell us, and as you best remember, what happened out there on the track, because most people were looking at the other truck that saw Hercules go over, but everybody sort of forgot about you, and we look over there, and there you're upside down. What happened? Um, best I can remember is when I come off the last set of cars, the truck went to the left real hard and nosed into the ground. It didn't power out. It seemed like it hung in the ground. And next thing I know, I was laying on my top. You're OK, I presume? Yeah, but uh, I had to make that phone call later on. OK, and that, of course, will be to Mr. Bob Chandler in St. Louis, Missouri. We want to remind everybody, and I think you would agree, that people should not try this type of thing at home. No, sir. That's it's a very dangerous sport. But with the safety equipment that they wear, as you can see, my truck's upside down. And I'm able to walk away and, and come over here and talk to you. Thanks for coming by. Glad to see you that you're all right, and uh, best wishes in the future. Thanks a lot, Dave. 
All right, Gene Patterson, a very somber moment for him here in Columbus, Ohio, the driver of Bigfoot. It's upside down. This is the truck that rolled over in the Hoosier Dome the second time now in about six months. It has done so, but he is okay, and he will be back at future events. Also, another individual who's pretty well shaken here tonight, and we're just glad to see that he's okay, Scott Hess from Auburn, Indiana. And Scott, with Hercules, this I would think has to be the wildest ride you've ever taken in monster truck racing. Yeah, that's right. It's definitely something. I just I wanted to get Bigfoot, and I, I think I had it going pretty good, but I don't know what happened. All right, tell us in your, in what you can recollect as you went over that last set of cars. What happened? Well, I, I think that dirt hill got me a little crooked, and I hit the cars not quite square, and it got up on its side, and nothing else you can do. As you watch the replay, you can see that Hercules' rear wheels were totally out of control. A broken tie rod left the rear wheels moving randomly, unresponsive to the driver's efforts to straighten the truck out. Well, they like him here in Columbus, Ohio, Scott Hess, and he can see that his truck now is righted. They're pulling Bigfoot over. A couple of damaged trucks, but two drivers, a little shaken, but they're okay. It's been a wild night of monster truck mania in Columbus. We've just seen one of the most incredible double wipeouts in the history of the sport. Hercules and Bigfoot pouring it on right to the end send shivers down the spines of everyone in the crowd. Miraculously, both drivers and one of our ESPN cameramen narrowly escaped injury and walked away unhurt. The second round continued with Dan Tassone in Star Monster facing off against Crimson Crusher with Dale Hancock at the wheel. It was a well-matched heat with both super trucks neck and neck off the first pile of cars. Crimson Crusher had a narrow lead at the midpoint and pushed ahead to win it by only a few feet. John Breen and Mad Dog were up next against Dale Hassel in the Ohio Earthshaker. The Earthshaker hesitated off the line and Mad Dog took the lead all the way for an easy win. John Breen won a spot in the next round and a shot at the finals. Let's get set now for the first heat of the second round of competition.